I'm Lisa Snyder. This is my husband, Aaron That's Snyder. Right. We'll be married 15 years, November 18th. We've been together. We'll be together 20 years, November 24th. He was born March 25th, 2005 at 8.01 in the morning. We kind of, we were in our 30s, mid 30s, uh, going, getting to our late 30s, you know, and we were kind of giving up hope that we were gonna ever have a kid. So, you know, we had overcome a lot um, with that, and, but it was a very uh, blessing for that to happen. Uh, everything seemed to be going good. I mean, Will was healthy, uh, ahead of schedule and everything, walking, eating, could put yeah, anything. Yeah, it was like a super baby. Yeah, it was like a super baby. I mean. Yeah, good mood all the time. Uh, hardly ever cried, was happy. Yeah. And then at 15 months, he had a seizure from out of nowhere. I got the long remote. I got the um, DT yeah. remote. I'm a movie. Mm -hmm. Super. Yeah, this is my one. Mine. That's what we're going to be calling it. Here. I was, we were living in a, a townhome. It was in the evening after work. I was laying on the bed. We were just talking. Lisa was doing her hair or something. He wasn't, he, he wasn't acting right. He wasn't acting right and he walked into our bedroom and he kind of looked droopy, walking kind of slow. I mean, he was still really young still. And, but he kept looking at me like he wanted me to come get him, but he, he had walked all the way to the bed and I picked him up and laid down with him. He was very clingy, very kind of out of it. Looked like he just basically wanted to go to bed. Um, Lisa kind of panicked and said, well, I'm gonna call the 24-hour um, hotline and get a hold of you know, uh, the doctor on call. Well, 99% of the time when you call them, they always say, hey, take him to the emergency room. Uh, so we decided to do that. Since we knew we were gonna be gone for a long time, I took the dog for a walk. We had put Will back in his crib um, just to lay down and rest while we, she was getting ready, getting some things together, and I was walking the dog. Um, I came back from walking the dog and I heard the most horrific scream from Lisa I'd ever heard. I mean, there, for a long time I couldn't even talk about it because it would just bring tears to my eyes. It would, it would make you real emotional. I mean, it was, it was hor horrifying for any parent to go through. So um, she came running out of the, the bedroom holding Will and he was basically blue, purple, and he was looked dead. I mean, he looked like just a lifeless doll that she had picked up off the floor. That caused so many problems, so many ideas, so many, I mean, it's just, that right there for years, I mean, just really messed we with us. We were scared to death. We were scared to death. When they have these seizures, they, they, they're still breathing. It's just very shallow. He was not breathing. He yeah. was not breathing. I mean, she ran out of there. Didn't know what to think. She laid him on the couch, um, started giving him CPR, started beating on his chest. It was nothing. I had a phone in each hand. I thought he was gone. Lisa kept praying and looking up at the sky and saying, you know, God don't do this to us. And probably, I don't know how much time elapsed. Like I mean, forever. seconds seemed like minutes, minutes seemed like hours. You know, it, all of a sudden he went, uh. That's how we knew we were still, we were still alive. Well, his sister is an RN. She lives in Oregon, Tammy. She came down that December for Christmas and she told his brother, Travis, that she thinks Will has autism. She didn't tell us because she was afraid that she would offend us. But I knew, we knew something was wrong. We just didn't yeah. know what was going on with him. 
Travis told us what Tammy said and I called and talked to her and because she had gone back by then and she told me, she goes, you, you go to the pediatrician and she goes, you're really going to have to push to get her to, to, to um, send you, you know, recommend someone to get him tested. Yeah. I had to go in there and I had to pitch a fit before and then she was like, okay, I'll get him tested because she was saying the same thing. He was traumatized. So then she referred us to Temple Weir, who's a wonderful lady. Uh, she's a master of public health. She was with Will five minutes and said, I can tell you right now, this, this child has autism. And that was one week before his second birthday in 2007. And he was, he was diagnosed moderate autistic. Mm -hmm. so. And we got him in therapy right away. That's when we met Laura, yeah. who was a godsend. Yeah, we met Laura. She was his very first speech therapist. We had him in occupational speech. Play therapy. Because one of the things, he wasn't loving anymore. He wouldn't look you in the face. He wouldn't give you eye contact. Wouldn't hug, he, he wouldn't, wouldn't hug. Kiss, he wouldn't, wouldn't say, I love you. Didn't have any kind of emotional attachment. Uh, we received a, an order referral for to evaluate William. And this was in April 2007. And I remember getting to their home, and William was two. It just turned two, and he was, he just looked scared to me. He wasn't scared of me, but just like an overall, you know, what's, what's going on, you know, in everyday life. His, over time, his speech therapist, Laura, I mean, she was videotaping him, playing, and she was showing us. And at that time, he wasn't speaking more than one word. Um, and he was only saying probably five or six words. Uh, I guess one, one day we were going over the video. We were rolling a ball back and we were, forth. We were rolling a ball back and, and we forth. And we were trying to get him to say ball. Yeah. Or, you know, and... Uh, All of a sudden... We, me and Laura start talking. And then Will comes off... Will comes from you know the side and he picks the ball up and he said this is my ball he says it real quiet me and Laura didn't hear it because yeah. we were talking but when she but played it's, it's played on the it video back, it's on the video and, and we, we kind of like, like huh what? and That's I was like what crazy. and we kept rewinding it and, and you could hear him saying yeah. this is my ball when I, when that happened I, I think that uh, we, we, it made uh, us a lot more hopeful yeah it gave us hope so this is actually my Spider-Man uh, 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 switch. Cool. And that's a poster right there, another poster right there, a uh, picture. I don't know what that is. Remember your responsibility thing? Responsibility. Yeah. Cool. William is just adorable. I don't know if he like be called adorable, but adoring, adorable and charming, and uh, it's. A little bit shy at first when you first meet him. He's like, what's going on? But he's, I mean, he's so smart. I mean, he's even playing like challenging video games. We, we were very lucky with Will. Well, we were extremely blessed. There is a lot severe and worse cases out there of autism. Because I mean, you know, people, you know, the divorce rate back then that we, 70 or 80 percent of marriages fail. That's what? the first thing that we were told yeah. by Tempa Weir that when they have an autistic child, 75 to 80 percent of marriages don't last more than a year after yeah. the diagnosis of autism. But you know, I, I don't agree with that. But, but you know, people are I, people. I, I think know. it made us stronger. Yeah. I mean, we. Yeah, we yeah. Re it really made us more of a team, you know. I mean, we have our ups and downs. We're, we're people, you know. I mean, yeah. we, we argue and have difficulties and stuff. But, you know, if, if anything, we, we became, you know, champions for our son. He's, he's, come here, he's awesome. I mean, he's like... He's a loving, caring... Smart young man. 
Yeah. Who's got a good heart, knows his parents love him, for sure. Never give up hope. Like, like uh, William's parents never gave up hope. And look at William today. I mean, the, from the two-year-old that I saw that just you know, looked scared, just frustrated and frustrated, and now he's you know, pretty much a regular kid. Never give up hope.